Hey, welcome back to Aspire. Now, the thrill of driving an AMG over the weekend is something many of us enjoy doing, but also now especially so with the CLA 45 giving you such thrill. Also, a lot of action in the hybrid space. The BMW 7 Series Active Hybrid packs in quite a punch. So let's take a look at all the luxury cars that have entered the country this year and also the ones that are lined up for the festive season. I have already extended the excise duty concessions for a period of six months. The FM has been kind to the Indian luxury car market. Extending the cut on excise duty means car makers can launch more cars and the price tags don't have to let your heart sink. With the RS7, Audi has aimed to merge four-door quiet comfort for the city and heart-pounding performance for the highway. Come August 7th, Audi will have its entry-level A3 rollout of its Aurangabad plant to take on the competition. And that's the Merc A-Class, the Merc B-Class and BMW's 1 Series. For anywhere between 27 and 32 lakhs, you get a car with bi-xenon headlamps, those daytime running LEDs, climate control, a rear-view camera and a panoramic sunroof for both its petrol and diesel variants. It's really a, a very interesting car, especially for the Indian market because its competitors are hatchbacks. And this is the first one uh, that's coming in as a compact luxury car with a, with a boot. So it's a sedan in all, in all its senses. So I think uh, far more practical an option as a compact luxury car. Apart from that, it's the engines. I mean, that 1.8 litre TFSI engine is absolutely a stonker of a motor. It's exciting, it's thrilling to drive. The suspension of the car is amazing. So it's, it's you know, for someone who wants to own it and drive it, it's absolutely a fabulous car. And uh, more than this, there's also a slew of cars that's been launched from Mercedes and BMW as well. <music> The 7 Series Active Hybrid is BMW's first hybrid in India. It gets powered by a 3-litre 6-cylinder engine and a ZF 8-speed automatic gearbox that powers up the wheels to make it sprint from 0 to 100 kilometers in 5.7 seconds. At 1.35 crores, question is, how does the hybrid go against the real deal? You know, it uses electric power to enhance the performance. So basically, when you're really uh, putting your foot down, the electric motor takes over. But if you're pitting it against the basic, you spend almost 30 lakh more on this. And I think the other uh, 7 series that are available are the long wheelbase versions. So I think in India, most people go in for those. Then we've said hello to BMW's new X5, priced at 70.9 lakhs. The X1, the X3, the X6 range of SUVs are already here. So this jazzes up the lineup. Pitted as it is against the Mercedes ML class. The car has the edgy iDrive system to speak of, a four zone climate control, and electric adjust front seats and steering. Speaking of SUVs, Porsche launched the Macan in two variants the S Diesel for 98.18 lakhs and the petrol powered Turbo for 1.08 crores. Sure, it comes loaded with standard equipment like the adaptive air suspension with adjustable ride height the adaptive bison on headlamps, the sports exhaust, the three-zone automatic climate control, an electricity-operated tailgate and all the media and connectivity options you'd need. Still, is it worth the price? The Macan that you're getting in the Indian market is fully loaded. So it's coming with all the top trappings that you can actually get on a car and this is why it's priced the way it is. Uh, if you had to add all these options on to possibly the Cayenne, you'd be paying a lot more than the base version, which I think people are comparing it with. It's actually perfectly sized for the Indian roads. It's not that huge. Um, it's easy to drive around. It still seats five. And uh, I think uh, it's a very practical option. All right, so what's Mercedes-Benz up to? Like Audi, they're digging deep into localization. The Chakan plant near Pune can now turn out 20,000 units every year. We invested in total 850 crores and uh, the setup is in a way flexible that we can react on any uh, market requirement and if future investment is needed of course uh, we are committed and we are ready uh, to, to do this here in India. Mercedes has its ears to the ground for the Indian market. Why the AMG launches are a story in themselves. Mercedes AMG is our performance 
brand and uh, we have uh, now six Mercedes AMG models in the Indian market. We see a potential in this high-end segment of the market and we see as well a shift from the traditional uh, sports car to a more usable one. How should I say, a, a car you can use on-road, off-road, on the racetrack, whatever. Uh, so uh, this is a very exciting part of the business. Yup, so the latest is the CLA 45 AMG, the smallest in the AMG powered range, selling for 68.5 lakhs. Sure, it looks like the saloon version of the A-Class hatchback, what with the frameless doors, the arced roofline and a similar dashboard. But the difference, and what a difference it is, is in performance, with a 2.0-litre 4-cylinder engine spurred by Merck's 4MATIC 4-wheel drive system. What next? The GLA, all set for a festive launch in September. This crossover hatchback is more than a compact SUV. It rivals the Audi Q3 and the BMW X1. Expect a ride quality that's much more supple and absorbent than any of the other Mercedes new generation compact cars. It's expected to come out with a price tag of 28 to 34 lakh rupees. Also waiting for a Diwali release at a 36 to 40 lakh price tag is the BMW M4 Coupe, the second in the M series in India after the M6 Grand Coupe. We expect the M5 to hit Indian shores soon after. Two supercars we are really looking forward to, the BMW i8 and the Lamborghini Huracan. The i8 is BMW's electric supercar that comes ever so close to being a sports car. The Huracan, drop dead gorgeous and quite the performer. Both out at the end of the year to spread some Christmas cheer. Never a dull moment in the world of luxury cars and that's about all we could pack into this edition of Aspire. We'll see you next week. Until then, do take care. Bye-bye.